Hey, welcome back to the Sunday Serving Channel where you come every week for a word of hope and truth and from the gospel. So here we are at Tagba, the place right. of seven springs. These brothers here are ready for some springs. Yeah. What's important about Tagba? Well, Tagba is where Jesus went up on the hill and 5,000 people plus were listening to him teach and they got hungry. And his disciples said, hey, we got a guy here with five small loaves and a couple fish and he made everybody sit down and he multiplied those loaves and fish and fed everybody and there was enough to go around and leftover so listen to the story of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes from John 6. So this is the story of the feeding of the 5,000 uh, and this place Tabcha is one of the most likely places where it probably was. Um, the name Tabcha is based on a Greek word that goes all the way back to early Christian times that refers to the feeding of the 5,000 and the multiplication of loaves and fish. This is John 6, 1 through 14. <clears throat> After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they... What are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about 5,000 in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Now, what's amazing about this story is, between the four Gospels, on any other story, you have disagreements about detail, about where it happened. Here, you have some really, really important things that agree. There was 5,000 people, there was 12 basketfuls left over, and it was a place that was grassy and green. Um, so it tells you that this story, among the many other stories, must have really impressed and stuck in the minds of people. Um, because even though the different gospel writers wrote at different times, to different audiences, they seem to remember that this is, that this is, this was a really, really important story. And, and most likely, it was, you know, even for the skeptics, they have to say, this really happened. So Betty, what's your impression of Tagba and, and uh, place where, where Jesus uh, made multiplied loaves? It was a wonderful place to imagine that happening and what TJ read to us made it come very alive. And all the things that Jesus actually did, the fact that he also even took care of the leftovers always impressed me that we don't waste. 